important having friends can be and how hard it can be to make them. Luckily for Ethan and Anthony, they've been friends forever. They grew up next door to each other and their parents are very close friends. However, as they got older, Ethan started to feel jealous of Anthony, even though you should never be jealous of your friends. Anthony's family had a little bit more money than Ethan's did, and Anthony was pretty popular in school and always got good grades. Ethan, on the other hand, was not very popular and was just an average student. The rest of their friends always wanted to hang out with Anthony and would usually leave Ethan out until one day, Ethan got too jealous. But what he didn't realize at the time was that it was gonna catch up to him. This is the story of the favorite friend. Uh, hi Anthony, uh, hi Brad. Hey Ethan, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, hi Ethan. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, man, me and Anthony were just gonna go on a ride together. That's what we're doing. Wow, sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I can't wait. I've been wanting to go on this ride for a long time. We haven't had a lot of chance to do it. Hey, uh, Brad, you think I could go on the ride with you guys? Maybe we could hang out? I mean, yeah, of course, that would be fun. But I mean, do you even have money to ride on the rides at the fair? Uh... I don't really have a lot of money, no, my Bob said I couldn't have any. I knew it, man. Of course you didn't have any money for the rides. It's because you're poor and stupid. Well, I don't care if I get to ride on the rides, I just want to hang out with you guys. Yeah, Brad, you should leave Ethan alone. It's not his fault, man. Yeah, but come on, I mean, we really gotta hang out with this guy? Look, Brad, Ethan's my best friend, okay? So don't talk about him like that. Fine, whatever, but I don't have enough money to pay for you, Ethan, so if you don't have any money, you should just go home. Ethan, I'm really sorry that Brad's saying all this stuff. That's fine, he's probably right. I shouldn't anyway. I'll just catch you later on at home. Hey, Ethan. Oh, hi, Anthony. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened with Brad earlier. No, it's fine. I'm used to people hating me. He doesn't hate you. Of course he does. You see how beat he was to me? Yeah, and I told him not to be. I don't know why he treated you like that. I'm really sorry. <sighs> it's whatever. I mean, I'm used to it by now. But look, I don't hate you. I mean, you're my best friend. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right, man. It's just sometimes it gets hard, you know? I know it does, and I'm sorry that people are mean to you sometimes, but I do my best to defend you as much as I can. I know, and it's not your job to defend me. I just wish I was more like you. You don't have to be anything like me. You're perfect just the way you are, man. Oh, well, I'm glad that I got a real Fred like you. Thanks, I am too. But hey, I don't know if you're doing anything, but do you want to maybe come over to my house so we can play some video games? Yeah, that sounds great. Huh, Anthony, I can't believe it. We got this history project and we got to be partners. I know, it's so great. I think it's gonna be a really tough project, but I know that you and I can get through it. Yeah, of course. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Yo, what's up, Anthony? Oh, hey, Brad, how's it going? Hi, Brad. Ugh, hi. Anthony, why do you hang out with such a loser like Ethan? Hey man, he's my best friend. Why don't you back off? Why do you talk to him like that? I mean, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I was just joking around, I guess. Yeah, you better be, Brad. Well, look, I just came by because I wanted to invite you to my birthday party. You available this weekend? Yeah, I could definitely go. Uh, I could go to the party too. Oh, yeah, well, see, here's the thing. It's like a really small party, so you're not invited to it. But Anthony, I'll see you there, man. Why do you hang out with Brad? He's so mean. I'm sorry he's acting that way, but he's just a misunderstood, that's all. He really is a nice kid. Oh, whatever. Well, I gotta get out of here. I'll just talk to you later.
Ethan, honey, I'm home. Uh, hi, Bob. How was your day at school? What's wrong? You look a little sad. I don't know, Bob. Why does everybody hate me? Why does everybody like Anthony so much better? Whoa, whoa, nobody hates you. What's going on? I don't know. It's like everybody always wants to hang out with Anthony. He's so cool and he's so popular. And then all of his friends are mean to me, like Brad. And it, I don't know. Anthony says he tries to stick up for me, but like they're still mean to me anyway. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that one bit. I thought Anthony was your best friend. I'm sure he does stick up for you. Maybe you're just not around when he does it? No, oh, I mean, he says, like, hey, leave me alone and stuff, but, like, they all still don't like me, and they all like Anthony, and I don't understand why Brad always has to be so mean all the time. I'm sorry, honey, but I think Brad is probably just acting out. He's got a lot going on. What do you mean he's got a lot going on? Well, uh... Probably shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard at the PTA meeting that his parents are getting a divorce. Maybe that's why he's acting so terrible to you. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe he's just angry or frustrated or something. Yeah, I'm sure it will pass, honey. Everything will be okay. You're great. How can people not like you? Thanks, Bob. I really appreciate the talk. Hi, Brad. What do you want, Ethan? Just wanted to see how your birthday party went. My birthday party was amazing, okay? We had the most popular and cool people there. I'm so happy that Anthony came. He's like my best friend now. He's not your best friend, he's my best friend. Well, I mean, whatever. Anthony's like one of the most popular kids in school, so he's like everybody's best friend, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah? Well, I heard Anthony had a terrible time at your party, and he doesn't like you at all. And he only went because he felt sorry for you. Felt sorry for me? What are you talking about? Well, he found out that your parents are getting a divorce. So he felt bad like you were like going to be sad about it or something. What? How do you know about my parents, first of all? And that's not fair, man. Anthony didn't say that. Take it back. I'm not taking it back. Anthony told me he doesn't like you at all. Take it back. No, and he's going to tell everyone at the school everyone's going to laugh at you. You're so mean, Ethan. No wonder nobody likes you. I can't believe this. I got to talk to Anthony. Yeah, whatever. At least you and Anthony aren't going to be friends anymore. Hey, Anthony, what's your problem, man? Hey, Brad, uh, I don't have a problem at all. What's going on? I heard that you were talking about my family, and you said that my party was terrible. I would never say anything like that, Anthony. I had a great time. That's not what I heard. I heard that you said that my party was lame, and that I was stupid, and you only came because you felt bad for me. Felt bad about what? About my parents getting divorced. Look, Brad, this is the first that I'm hearing about this. Whatever, Anthony. I don't believe you. Just don't ever talk to me again, okay? Hey, Ethan, do you know what's going on with Brad? Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of told him, like, you didn't like the party and stuff. What? Why would you do that? I don't know. He's a jerk, and I thought it would be funny. Plus, you shouldn't hang out with people like that. It's not up to you to tell me who to hang out with, Ethan. He's my friend. I can't believe you'd do something like this. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Yeah, well, it is a big deal. I'd never do something like this to you. You know what, Ethan? I've got to go to class. I'll just talk to you some other time. Is everything all right? No, Bob. I did something bad, and now Anthony hates me, just like everybody else. Oh, no, Ethan. Oh, what'd you do? What's going on? Uh, well, I kind of told Brad that Anthony hated his party, and he only went because he felt bad that his parents were getting a divorce. Oh, oh, e Ethan, why would you ever say that? I don't know, Bob. I just didn't want them to be friends anymore. So I figured, you know, Anthony would realize Brad is the worst and then be my friend again. But now he never wants to talk to me again. Well, yeah, can you blame him? You kind of seem like the worst one now. 
Well, I don't know. You should probably apologize. Yeah, you're probably right, Bob. What I did, I think, wasn't that good. No, you should never treat your friends like that. Jealousy is an ugly thing, Ethan. It doesn't look good on you. All right, Bob. I'll go apologize. What do you want, Ethan? What are you doing at my house? Uh, look. Two things. One, we need to work on our project together. No, we don't. We're not working on that anymore. Wait, you didn't let me finish and get to part two. The second part is that I'm really sorry, Anthony. What you did was so messed up, Ethan. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I just get jealous that everybody likes you all the time. And nobody wants to hang out with me, Anthony. And you're my only friend. And then when you hang out with all those mean kids, it makes me feel bad. Like, I'm all alone. Yeah, well, it's not my fault that people want to hang out with me, Ethan. I mean, I have a lot of friends. And you should know that you're my best friend. I tell you that all the time. I know, but it's hard. You don't understand. It's not easy being made fun of all the time. Look, I get it. I totally understand what you mean. And as messed up as it was... I get why you did it, but look, I need to be able to trust you. You're supposed to be my friend. I know, and I didn't do a very good job of being a friend, but I promise I will now, okay? All right, and you know what? Maybe I should have done a better job of standing up for you. Maybe we both weren't being the best of friends. So do you forgive me? I do, as long as you forgive me. I never want to make you feel like you're not welcome. Oh, don't worry about it. You never do. Let's just put all this behind us. Yeah, but what about Brad? Well, I gotta apologize to Brad, too. Well, I'll help you out with that. And hey, you know what? Let's work on that project together. Come on in. I can't believe it! We got an A on our project! It's so great. See what happens when we work as a team? Yeah, I know. Nothing can stop us. Oh, hey, look, there's Brad. I guess it's time to go apologize. Hey, Brad. Oh, get away from me, Ethan. You too, Anthony. Look, no, just hear us out. Look, Brad, I didn't say what you thought I said. Tell him, Ethan. Yeah, I kind of made all that stuff up. What? Why would you do that? Because you're mean to me all the time, and I'm tired of you hanging out with my friend. I mean, jeez, Brad, you call me a loser all the time. It's because you are a loser. See, Brad, maybe if you didn't treat people like that, Ethan wouldn't have done this in the first place. Why are you so mean to him? Oh, I don't know, okay? I'm just frustrated, and Ethan's an easy target to make fun of. But I'm a person, too. I know, of course I know that, man. I just... I don't know, okay? I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe I'm just jealous that you guys are close friends. I don't have a lot of friends. Well, you're jealous of me? Yeah, of course. I mean, you and Anthony hang out all the time. Nobody wants to hang out with me, except for when Anthony does. Look, I like hanging out with both you guys. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so mean to you, Ethan. It's not right. That's okay. I don't mean to be mean to you either. Hey, Brad, I don't know. Maybe you could just hang out with us sometimes, the three of us. Yeah, actually, that would be cool, man. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more awesome videos from me, make sure you click here and here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that bell, subscribe, turn notifications on so that you never miss a video that I post. Thanks again for watching.